In this video, we're going to talk about least common multiples. And really, a least common multiple is nothing more than the multiple or the same multiple of two numbers. The only problem is that certain pairs of numbers can have multiple multiples. And so we want to find the smallest one. Okay, so the, the least common multiple is the smallest number that two that two numbers go into or are divisors of. Okay, so I have a couple of methods here, and it just it's totally up to you. I tend to use both methods, but I tend to use the first method when I can find uh, multiples very easily, and the second method when it's going to be a little bit tougher. Uh, a little bit tougher means typically big numbers. Okay, so method one, trial and error. Simply write the multiples of the first number, and I would like to change this a little bit. I don't like that, because the first number is usually the smaller of the two. So let's not use that. Let's use the larger number, or the largest number, depending on how many you are trying to find. So larger or largest. The reason you do this is because you'll have to multiply it less times. And so the second one, uh, if you don't recognize a multiple of the second number, you have to repeat uh, repeat step one for the next largest. So we're looking at the numbers 8 and 14. And in the case of 8 and 14, we'll go ahead and multiply 14 until we can hopefully recognize something that 8 goes into. So we take 14, and then we take 28. This is 14 times uh, 1 is 14. And we put all of these in columns here. Be really nice about it here. So 14 times 2 is 28. Well, 8 doesn't go into any, either of those. 14 times 3 is 42. 8 does not go into that. 14 times 4 is 56. Ah, 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 right, right there. 56 is 7 times 8. So the least common multiple of 8 and 14 is 56. Now, later on when we're working with fractions and we're adding and subtracting them, we're going to want to know what numbers multiply together in order to give us this 56. But for right now, the purpose of this particular uh, instruction is to find the number. Not so much worry about how we're going to use it later, but just to simply find it. Okay, so this is how you use the multiple technique, this, this, this trial and error. You just multiply the larger or largest numbers by 1, by 2, by 3, by 4, until you find the multiples of, say, another one. If you didn't know that 56 was in fact a multiple, you might continue with this for a while to say that this is 14 times 5 is 70, and then uh, 14 times 6 is 6084. Then you may have come over here and said, okay, well, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40, 8 times 6 is 48, 8 times 7 is 56, and oh, I recognize this. Okay, so now I've gotten two columns, they both equal the same number, there's your least common multiple. That was the first one to happen. So that's how you find the least common multiple with trial and error.